Hi, uh, it's me again, Josh, with a new episode of Hey Josh, What You Drinking? Uh, today is Saturday. It is the 23rd of April. <clears throat> I have just gotten over the virus. Uh, I did a episode a few days ago. It was a waste of time. And uh, I apologize uh, profusely to, uh, um, was that a <clears throat> um, Spearhead Brewery for uh, even attempting to review their delicious beer with uh, no sense of smell or taste. But I'm pretty good now. Uh, I thought before that just because I, I wasn't feeling like I was sick, just had some congestion and uh, a bit, but it really didn't work. So today, anyway, I've got, just in case, I've got a beer that will probably even, well, I don't have any congestion left. <sighs> no congestion left. Uh, smelling everything nicely. I smell, uh, I smell that a lad is making some sort of a curry concoction. Um, but I've I've just I've chosen the strongest beer that I could find. Well, uh, I guess it's not really the strongest flavored beer, but it's definitely the strongest beer that I have in my collection right now. It's a uh, Harold. Let me let me uh, bring this up. This is uh, from Whippersnapper Brewery. Uh, I picked up a couple months ago. It is their. Uh, what do they call it. This is the Unfiltered Project. This is a. Uh, Number one forty nine in the uh, their series in unfiltered project series. This is the Eisbach. So they <clears throat> they every year put out a, a couple of the uh, of their selections. Let's make an Eisbach. Well, this is specifically a a, a box style beer in the first place. An Eisbach. I eyes is ice ice. They freeze it. So when they freeze a beer. Well, they let it freeze. It won't freeze completely. It'll get slushy, right? Because it's got alcohol in it in the first place. So some of it, though, will freeze really hard crystals on the top. And those are scooped off and removed, leaving <clears throat> more intense malty beer flavors. And, uh, well, it increases the alcohol uh, quite a bit, too, because uh, alcohol doesn't freeze. So... What I would assume as a, a nice eyes, uh, a nice uh, Bach, uh, German style Bach, probably clocking in at about uh, five, six percent, has been. Look at this, doubled. This is a twelve percent beer. Uh, other high alcohol beers right now are pretty popular. I'm thinking uh, like the Sparkle Puff and the uh, and the Sunshine, but those are, you know. Um, High in alcohol, but also really high in uh, uh, hops. So it makes for like a double or, or triple or quad uh, type uh, um, uh, IPA. This should be, if uh, uh, I haven't opened it yet to find out, this should be a, a, a darkish amber. Uh, like a, 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 like a good box should. Anyway, let's get into it and see what, what's actually in here. All right, I'm kind of excited. I've been holding on to this uh, for several, since February, a couple months now. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. So oh, the malty aroma on that is just intense. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to get my cup here. Let's pour this one out. Oh, yeah, see, that's what I expected. Dark amber. That's the creamy. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's just the creaminess on it. Is, that's a nice looking beer. I got to pause and take a shot for the socials. Uh, follow the socials on uh, that beer thing .ca or or um, that beer thing at uh, the 
TikTok and Instagram, and also my, uh, probably won't see these on my personal one, uh, the original Joshua J, or, or uh, the original Joshua J 2.0, because hackers stole my, my old Instagram and tried to spam all my friends to buy, to buy crypto. Anyway. Wow, this this is just a an amazing smelling beer. I wish we had smell o vision here. Smell o scratch and scratch and sniff. So this has a great big I mean and I mean a great big punch in the nose of nice bready um like dark rye kind of aroma to it. Uh a sweetness that I can't even explain. It's, it's sort of caramelly, but uh, not so much. It's a. It's just got it's got a lot of malt in it, and obviously it's as I said, it's been it's been condensed down. It's been it's been intensified too. Um, as you can see, that the, it's still got a good amount of very rocky foamy head to it uh, i want to get this up in the light so i wonder if we can try something try something with the flashlight does that work oh that works a little bit and you can see it's actually a really a really dark uh like a ruby amber almost a, a, a ruby red but more of an end. And here's the thing too, I can see well maybe it's just because I've been sitting around for a while. But uh I can see quite a bit of uh sediment in there as well. And I'm gonna I'm gonna attribute that to the fact that it's been frozen and uh uh intensified. Okay, enough talk. Let's get this in us. Wow. 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 That is intense. That is good. That's a, that is everything that I want. In a beer. Okay, this could officially be, well, maybe unofficially be just about the, my, my favorite beer this year. Guys, this is awesome. <clears throat> Huge multi taste to it. Um, creamy. Creamy mouthfeel, uh, and still has a bit of uh, a fair amount of uh, carbonation to it as well. I I love this beer. I really, really, really love this beer, and uh, <clears throat> it's almost a shame that it's a uh, it's only available uh, as a one. I'm probably this is probably only a one off. This and I, I had another can of this uh, earlier in the season and shared it with. Uh, uh, Venture Seeker Sarah. I don't remember it being this, quite this good. I remember it being good. Oh my, right in the sunlight here. I remember it being tasty and I remember we liked it, but this, wow. Um, sorry to tease you guys, but uh, that's probably no longer available or probably ever will be exactly available in this form. Again, from Whippersnapper. Whippersnapper, thanks for making this. This is a this is like heaven in a can. All right, I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna finish my beer, grab some beat. It's nice to feel better, uh, being able to taste and smell my my food and drink. And uh, right, cheers, everybody. Uh, you know what I'm gonna ask you to do with the uh, like and subscribe. It's uh, Liking is fine, but subscribing is better. All right. So uh, take care. Until next time, uh, enjoy. Super snapper.